Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can convert solid objects into liquid in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado let's begin today's video. So here you can see I am using Blender 2.92 nice. Now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So first of all, let's import a 3D model here. So here I am using a cup model which I have downloaded from Sketchfab. So go to this file, import, it is an object file. So click on this wavefront obj. So here you can see we got our model here. So let me increase the scaling a bit. Okay. So let me rotate this here like this and let me place this above here. Nice. So in order to convert any object into liquid form, we can do that easily by going to this object, make sure the object is selected, go to this object, quick effects and select this quick liquid. So here you can see we got a box created around our object. So this is called domain. That means whatever the simulation, this water simulation will take place within the domain itself. So if you want to increase the scaling of this domain, you can do simply select the domain, press S on the keyboard and increase the scaling like this or else you can increase in axis also so press s to increase in x axis and press s y to increase in y axis like this okay so press 3 on the keyboard for side view so let me place this here just about to this grid okay select the cup come to this physics properties so here you can see the type is set to flow flow type is set to liquid so in order to get the shape of the object, make sure it is set to geometry only so that it will stays in that shape continuously. Okay. Now select the domain. This is important. Select the domain. So domain type, let it be liquid. So resolution, this is important. You need to check the resolution here. So if I change this resolution to 128, you can see we are not getting our cup shape completely. So you need to increase the resolution here. So let me try 256. So now you can see we got liquid particles filled in the form of cup shape. So if you want to get some more details, you need to increase this resolution here. So the preview which I have shown is set to 500, the resolution set to 500 and the bake time is almost 8 hours. So keep this in mind, if resolution increases, bake time increases. So I will leave this to 256 for this tutorial purpose. Okay. So now scroll down to this mesh option, enable it so that we'll get mesh. Make sure to enable this mesh. So now you can see we got this liquid. Let me go to this solid viewport. So we got our cup shape. So actually this is the liquid. So this is the main cup mesh and this is the liquid that is created in the shape of our cup so if you want further details just increase the resolution it costs big time nice so now scroll down so if you want to increase the viscosity you can increase the viscosity option by enabling this viscosity or else you can enable this diffusion and select some presets here you will get three presets here like water oil and honey you can select whichever preset you want so i will leave this to default only okay so now let me select cache folder where i can save the cache file so here you can say I have selected the folder where to save cache. Okay. So in type change it to all. Enable this is resumable option. So if you enable this, we can resume the bake at any point here. So make sure to enable that one and just click on this bake all. So it starts baking. It may take time depending upon the resolution what we have selected for domain. So here you can see this baking is done and it took a couple of hours to complete. So now if I play this animation, you can see we got our object into liquid form. Nice. So now let's add a ground plane. So go to this add mesh plane, press S to increase the scaling so that it acts as a ground plane. Nice. So now let's add some material onto this cup. So come to this material report. So come to this material properties. So here you can see it got liquid shader on that. So if you want to keep that, you can keep or else if you want to add any other material, you can do that. Just close this one and add a new material. So from this, you can change 
the color of the cup if you want so i will leave it to white only so give it a metallic look nice and roughness i will increase this a bit so for plain i will add the same material i will leave it to white metallic look okay nice so if you want to render this scene we need to add a camera in the scene so go to this add camera now press ctrl alt 0 now press n on the keyboard come to this viewport and add camera to view okay so here we can adjust the angle nice so now let's render this image or so let's move to this render viewport so currently the scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene so come to this world properties color and add environment texture so here I will be using HDR image, select an HDR image. So here you can see I have added some HDR. So come to this render properties, scroll down to this fill in and make it transparent. Enable ambient occlusion and let me increase the distance to 1. Fine. So enable screen space reflections and refractions if required. Nice. So now let me play this animation once again. So here you can see we got our liquid falling down okay nice so if i want to render this out we can go to this render and click on this render image to see how it looks so here you can see we got our cup in the scene also so we need to get rid of that so select this cup come to this object properties scroll down to this visibility and uncheck this render option if you want you can uncheck this viewport also so that we will not see in viewport also so i will uncheck this in render so it will not be visible in render so if i render this scene once again you can see we are not getting that cup here so let me bring this plane above press g z and let me bring it light here okay so in this way we can convert any object into liquid form in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye